Oswego United Methodist Church is located across from the fire station and next to the armory on South Shore Boulevard. The first Methodist Sunday School in Lake Oswego began in 1852. The present structure is in the typical Northwestern style and follows Methodist traditions of simplicity, hospitality, and welcome. The main entrance and its many doors are marked by a large cross. The Community Activity Center is topped by a glass cupola. Our pastor Steven Sprecher has served the United Methodist Church in several locations. After studying at Union Theological Seminary, he's been a campus minister, pastor, district superintendent, and assistant to the bishop. He's shown here in Washington, D.C., where he chaired the Peace with Justice work area for Methodism's Board of Church and Society. He has served our Lake Oswego congregation for eight years. Let's visit him in his office, where he's accessible most weekdays. He leads both worship services on Sunday mornings and teaches study groups during the year. I think what people are looking for in a church today is a place to connect, to be part of a community where they can feel nurtured and also participate in something that really makes a difference in the world. The thing that most amazes me about this congregation is that they take seriously our mission statement a place to connect to God, to each other, and to the world. To be honestly searching for that connection with God, to be truly caring about one another, and to take seriously that outreach to the community to impact the world. I think anybody who comes to be a part of this congregation will feel truly welcomed and will find a place where what they do and say makes a difference. There is a comprehensive education program for children, youth, and adults. Sunday mornings are busy and happy at LOUMC. Though both services follow the same scriptural text, they offer two different worship styles. The 830 service is informal and has outstanding contemporary music. The 1015 service offers a more traditional format with beautiful organ music. service includes a children's message where the youngsters are led on subjects near to their hearts. Here we see them gather for the blessing of their school backpacks. A high point for children of the congregation and the neighborhood is the Vacation Bible School. 
a recent theme, a cosmic experience, thrilled and challenged 90 children to consider the awesome qualities of God. A recent youth mission group chose as their theme, Generation of Change, reflecting Ephesians 2.10. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. Hosted by First Methodist Church, they made a significant impact on North Bend, Oregon. They conducted a Galactic Blast Vacation Bible School for North Bend UMC and did hands-on tasks, including, to mention a few, the building of a retaining wall and French drain for Habitat of Humanity, the painting of the Children's Advocacy Center and the UMC Sunday School Rooms, and working on upkeep of a homeless shelter and a halfway house. At home in Lake Oswego, the youth helped support Janice House, a haven for youth in crisis. On special occasions, like the 4th of July, we'd meet outside on the back lawn. Scripture this morning, I want to invite you to uh, pause, relax, breathe deeply. That great, fresh morning air. John Wesley emphasized worthy action and service in accord with biblical references such as, do not grow weary of doing good, one who does good is of God. John Wesley's rule tells us, do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, in all the times you can, to all the you can, as long as ever you can. Our church extends a caring welcome to groups such as Alcoholics Anonymous and Helping Hands. Collection boxes for food, clothing, and containers are just inside the Narthex doors. A bright bulletin board there lists the organizations with which we carry on a wide-ranging outreach program. These organizations include Red Sox, Operation Night Watch, Fish, Feed a Family for a Week, Habitat for Humanity, Sunnyside Dinners, Westland Food Pantry, Lake Oswego Transitional Shelter, American Red Cross, MACG, Clackamas Shelter from Domestic Violence. <laughs> 